like you said, they'll. Yeah, like you said, last year of this moment, the whistleblowers movement released a series of classified red title documents coming from the PLA Air Force communication and command centers, including the deployment of many military bases and the deployment of fiber cables. These operations were primarily targeting its operation against Taiwan. Noticing that the date of these documents revealed that the CCP's invasion plan against Taiwan was long before she took the office. So here they are. So the, these invasion plans you're saying predate uh, President Xi Jinping is what you're saying there, but uh, it's being ramped up. You you look at the Chinese military putting uh, aircraft carriers uh, into service, putting military vessels into service. They have the, they being the Chinese military has more ships in its navy now than the United States. They have the biggest navy in the world now, and it's growing, not not getting smaller. Correct. That's correct. Well, one of the most important thing was looking at these documents. These military bases were primarily deployed and built underneath kindergartens, universities, hospitals, residential areas of major populations. We can tell that the Chinese Communist Party had long-term planned out its operation and maybe destroy of its own civilized uh, civilization and population. So let me get this straight. You're saying that these military bases, uh, complete with fiber optic cables, communication centers, um, operations, command centers, you might call them, are subterranean, beneath hospitals or in close proximity, or they're actually underground, like with hospitals, so that they're they're using civilians as protection. That's correct, Steve. Well, tell me about that. How can they do that? How big are these operations? How many people are there? What happens here? Well, I think one of the most concepts that the Chinese Communist Party had raised in the past decade was to mix and combine the civil uh, and, the, and the civilians with the military, primarily by deploying these centers, military bases into residential areas. Many people wasn't aware of how they were impacted by the military force. These whistleblowing messages were coming out of all from the supporters of the new federal state of China directly. And luckily, our whistleblower was saved and fleed from China last year. Which is fortunate. So as we sit here and, and we get uh, distracted by all these things that I was talking about, uh, the People's Liberation Army, the Chinese Communist Party, Xi Jinping and all of his lieutenants uh, are planning to execute the invasion of Taiwan. There's no question about that to me. They consider Taiwan to be a rogue province ever since Chiang Kai-shek fled back in 1949. They believe it's a rogue province. Of course, they believe the whole world's a rogue province. How close do you think, as you look at this, and you look at the documents, and you look at the development of these uh, communications opportunities with the fiber optics and these nerve centers and these command centers, how close do you think we are? What do you think the plan really is? Well, I think the plan had been targeting Taiwan for a long time, primarily about the communication centers. You know, each were uh, each type of the wars were relied on the communication centers. So when the new federal state of China released these documents, these caused the actual harm to the Chinese Communist Party because you can you know change to another strategy of the war, but you can never build the same type of communication center or the same type of cables and uh, cables anymore.